Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a random read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. <clears throat> also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. We're going to do the runes, though, you know, you guys? Remember, you guys, take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't manifest weird stuff into your life. Yeah? Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a timeless reading, right? Timeless runes reading. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull five runes. Find out what's going on here. I already, I saged the runes. Yeah, I saged them. Okay, I saged the trailer. I saged everything. And, uh... I don't know if the magic circle is still there because you know the sand. I gotta probably redraw a magic circle, but you know. I'll get to it. Two more, right? <laughs> okay. One more. Just trying to see what's going on. I'm not trying to, you know, say any extra. Because really, it's just been chill right here. No real, you know, traumas. I don't feel anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, chilling. <laughs> so I'm just trying to find out what's going on out there with y'all. Okay, so here's the first person. I'm going to put out two animal totems. Okay, one is one person, one is the other person. Or, one, or they can both be in the energy of one person if you're not really dealing with anyone. Right, but usually it's two people. Here's the first person. Second person. And then I'm gonna pull one more and that's for um, the energy of the entire reading. We'll use an animal totem, right? Okay. There it goes. <clears throat> Put this to the side. At the end, I'm gonna pull some boggles. Ooh, I just saw a big old crab run by. <laughs> The dog's not doing his job. No, it's okay. Because when, when Brian sees the crabs, oh my gosh, he I feel bad for the crabs, okay? So I kind of, I try to let them run away or get them to anyways, because he will destroy them. Poor things. He is just trying to play, but anyways. <clears throat> trying to find out what's going on here, right? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and find out what is the overview of uh, this reading here. Oh, look, the overview is partnership. Wow. <laughs> so partnership, okay, getting together. Now this could be all kinds of stuff, right? This could be partnership in business, um, partnership in relationships friendships, you know, stuff like that. Whatever partnership is related to, that's what it could be. All right. I, I just heard fellowship. So something like that too. Okay. Now, um, this is the challenge though. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So this one this is in the reverse, you guys. This is um, journey, right? No journey. Someone will not take a journey for this partnership. That's the challenge, no journey. So there's no travel, that's the challenge. Because no one is traveling, I don't know. It says partner, maybe somebody's already in a partnership, so that's why there won't be a journey. Mm-hmm, that right there. That right there. Somebody is in a partnership already. The challenge is not taking a journey because they're, you know, shacked up with someone already. The, the challenge is that they're not going to go, right? They want to go, but the chal they're challenging themselves. They, they're not going. Okay. <clears throat> 
what kind of action is going to be taken. Wholeness. Alright. Some sort of wholeness will be coming in from not taking this journey. Right? Somebody will feel maybe... Maybe somebody's going to feel strong because they were able to say no, right? It brought it brings some sort of new strength to them, right? Maybe before they would always crumble and say yes and go or do it or whatever. Not anymore. Not anymore. Right? Somebody will not take this journey with somebody. And they will not, I don't think they're going to have this partnership. That's what this idea is about. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to happen, right? Somebody wants a partnership. It doesn't mean it's going to happen though. No journey, which means somebody's not trying to put in the work. They're not trying to make any moves. They're not trying to do anything, right? And they still want a sense of wholeness from this. Doubt it. I doubt it. You're not going to get any wholeness if you're not going to put in any, any work. I'm, you know, what else can I say? It's that simple. All right. <clears throat> what kind of sacrifice is going to be made here? Okay. constraint so somebody is being constrained from making any moves so maybe somebody does want to make a move for a partnership but for a partnership but they can't right they can't get that wholeness because something is holding them back something is holding them back from making from having a partnership as they come out, you know, the stories, they always change. They always, always change. Partnership. Journey. Wholeness. Constraint. So yeah, somebody is basically being prevented from making a journey to bring wholeness to their life. How weird. So either other, either other people are doing this or somebody could be doing the self-sabotage thing. Because, you know, we all do that all the time. We always self-sabotage ourselves. We totally do for all kinds of stuff. We are our own worst critic on top of that right don't do any more than you have to you might overdo it and ruin it something like that might have happened here let's see who's involved in this situation like let's see you know like I said, this is two different people. It could be one if you're not dealing with anyone, but no, on the norm, it's two people. Okay. Person number one, I knew that's what that was. It's a spider. Ah, just kidding. <laughs> but it's a spider, you know. Now, when it comes to the spider, it's about, you know, creativity and balance. Creativity and balance. So somebody here is basically balanced and very creative, right? Easy. This is this is the energy that the first person holds, right? Creativity and balance. So an artist, maybe. Or it, it doesn't necessarily have to be an artist. It could be somebody who's like, uh, I don't know why it came to mind, but like interior decorating. <laughs> like for their pad to make the house look nice, right? Make the pad look fresh. Something like that. I don't know. That, that one thing came to mind, though. Okay, there's so many artistic fields out there, but that specific one came to mind. So that might be somebody out there. 
and you're very balanced, you know, and it might show in your art, the art of what you do. So somebody is like that right here. Let's see who this person is. Oh, okay. Thought it was a different one, but no. The coyote. <laughs> the coyote, right? Humor and adaptability, you guys. Humor and adaptability. It's kind of, I kind of feel like he's telling a joke right there. Ah, and he's laughing at it. Ah, 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 after he, you know, I don't know, howling at the moon, maybe. So the other person maybe, you know, adapts to situations with humor, you know, like perhaps if they go into a room and there's, you know, quite a few people in there, it's kind of dull in there. That person will bring lively up the room with some, maybe tell a joke or do something humorous to bring it back to life or bring life into the room. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's just, you know, I'm not, I'm not talking about somebody who's crazy, you know, does it, but just, you know, makes people laugh and, eh, you know, puts people in a better mood. Yeah. That's who this person is. Now this, it sounds like these two would be cool together, right? But there's, and that's what the partnership may entail, these two, but they are being constrained. Someone is being constrained from going to the other, right? Maybe both of them are being constrained by each other in their own minds. Oh, oh gosh, here we go. <clears throat> I don't know what's going to come out next. That's why I'm like, you know, here we go. Because things are starting to get, you know, to where I start, it just starts blurting out. So I have to tunnel. What I'm saying here is these two individuals may be actually self-sabotaging themselves. These are two good individuals, right? One is very creative, you know, balanced. The other one is very humorous and can adapt to basically any situation. These are the two that may have or uh, should have a partnership or maybe these two want a partnership but like I said they're sabotaging themselves right they're not taking any journeys towards each other to gain that wholeness so the constraint could be coming from both of them in their own minds now the way I see it is if it's a female, the female is not, especially if she's in the energy of the Empress. Yes, this is not the tarot, but that's the best way I can explain it to you. Because most likely you know the tarot, you're maybe checking this out for the first time, whatever. Anyways, so somebody here might be in the energy of the, the Empress. If they are, the Empress will not chase who might be the emperor, right? The ladies don't chase the man. And if it's, you know, male, male, female, female, whatever, the feminine will not chase the masculine. The masculine, in case for any of you masculines who might catch this and do not know, the proper thing to do is you're the one who's supposed to go to the feminine energy and be like you know hey what's up uh would you like to get coffee or whatever whatever you do to <laughs> you know get things rolling the, ma the masculine supposed to do it for any of you guys out there or masculine energies if you didn't know that that's yeah that's usually how they do where I'm from, that is, anyways, I, you know, that's where I, I don't know. But for me, in my mind, that's how it's supposed to be, you know? So, anyhow, the constraint is definitely both of them. One's not going to chase because they don't. 
and the other one needs to be you know the masculine if that's some you know and and if the masculine masculine has ever told the feminine you got to do be the girl and you got to stop competing don't com let's not compete whatever because i know mine told me that before i didn't realize i was doing that so if you want it to be that way then you're the one that needs to approach me right you're the one that needs the masculine must approach the feminine right if you're trying to you know, you know what i mean <laughs> you know if you have the balls to do that then you know i don't know i don't know just saying i mean i think that has been that's been a tradition since old timey days right that the man goes and asks out the lady you know and now since it's more you know more current modern times it's still the same way even if it's two males the male the masculine male would ask the masculine uh, uh, the feminine male right just as the masculine female would ask a feminine female if it is same sex right yes no or yes I think yes so whatever you guys you know decide or choose or whatever you guys think but that's for me i think that's you know i don't know <clears throat> anyhow let's continue we're still going here so let's find out what the energy of this entire the entire reading right no 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 yeah, yeah yes 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 my bad my bad because i was i thought i was gonna lift this one but no we're doing this one now what is it looks so dark right because i'm looking at it too it looks like a black stone but i think it it's purple. I put it out to the light and I could see right through it. So I know that it's the, uh, it's the bear paw or the wolf, the wolf paw. Like it looks like a little wolf. I don't know. Big wolf. I don't know. This is freedom and guidance. Freedom and guidance. Somebody might be being guided towards freedom but there's a constraint that's the sacrifice the sacrifice is constraint let me think about that sacrifice is constraint sacrifice hold yourself back sacrificing to hold oneself so basically the constraint here is that somebody's holding themselves back there must be some sort of reason or now if somebody's trying to have wholeness they don't want to take that journey yet maybe they're trying to find wholeness within themselves to heal themselves hey that's good all right that's good then you see give it a little thought and things come together right somebody may be trying to they want freedom right but they're trying to follow some sort of guidance maybe maybe they're trying to find guidance from uh something more than right as in more than us right the guidance that one can get when they're alone that higher guidance right wink wink right I don't know <laughs> I don't know how else to you know I mean I could just say it straight out but I'm trying to just be you know everybody's got their own form of guidance somebody is is trying to find a wholeness right now this is action action is wholeness so somebody is trying to be whole right now that's why they're not taking the journey that's why they're trying to be whole within themselves so they're holding themselves back right now they're trying to you know if, th if this is the energy of this entire reading somebody is trying to find guidance within themselves right so after that guidance once they're enlightened or whatever to you know not like oh i am a fully enlightened being because no one ever is right but to whatever situation 
whatever situation, because there's like so many, <laughs> right? But somebody may become enlightened to a situation which will guide them towards freedom of something something that has been holding them back because usually tr past trauma is holds us back from moving forward right so somebody may have healed some sort of trauma that is allowing them or guiding them to move forward right yeah good that's good <laughs> right i mean i think it is so <clears throat> let's find out what the the new situation is going to be like, right? Because right now there's, I, I feel like there's a healing mode right here. There's a healing mode. So let's find out what the new situation will be like after somebody feels confident enough or healed enough, right? Okay. It's kind of like that upside down F, right? This is uh, possessions, possessions. It's in, yeah, it's in the upside down. No possessions. So somebody, okay, so somebody's holding themselves back because they're trying to um, save their possessions, but in the end, in the new situation, there is going to be any possession. There's not going to be any. Somebody may have lost everything, you know. But when it's a new situation, I mean, you start brand new then. You start over, right? It's not how many times you fall. It's how many times you get back up, right? It's not how many times you fail. It's how many times you improve, right? It's about getting better. It's not about, oh, you know, I'm such a failure. People are going to see me as, who cares what people see you as? Just keep going, man. You ain't got, we ain't got no time to worry about what other people think, right? I mean, that's how I think. That's how me, you know, something it doesn't work or it breaks. Or I don't, I ain't got time to worry about what other people are thinking about me at the moment. The only time, the only thing I have to worry about is how I'm going to solve this problem so I can keep moving forward, right? That's, that's how I feel like everybody should be. But, every, you know, some people, you know, they get embarrassed, something happened, they don't want anybody to see this and that and the other. It's okay, okay, you know, you, you got to get through that though. You got to like keep moving in life. You don't want things like little petty things to hold you back from enjoying the life that you deserve. Somebody's going to lose some stuff. So what is just stuff, right? Has anybody ever told you that? Somebody's told me that before. It's just stuff. <clears throat> boggles. All right. I'm going to grab a couple of these uh, boggles. And we're going to see what comes out. Here's the first one. Okay, what do I see here? KSP. Can you see that? KS KSP, in case you can't see it. HAO. HAO. N R L N R L and W A O W A O. So those right there, those could be somebody's first, middle, or last initial. Uh, maybe it can spell a word. Shoot, man, maybe it'll you can spell a sentence with that. You know what I mean? There's a lot of letters right there. So, yeah. If it resonated with you guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Uh, also, keep it true, lo uh, true love energy, happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful, right? Yeah. I'm Mona. 
This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you guys next time.